Welcome back to Take Apart. Today we will tear down a Cinei Air, the latest and smallest from Exxon. But enough of that. There are four screws on the back side, so grab a hex bit and unscrew them. Those four screws have blue Loctite on them, which is a good sign. Now you can separate front from the back part. Be careful, as there is a cable connecting them. And also make sure that antennas stay on the back part. As you see, sometimes they stuck on the front. Now you can disconnect the cable. This is Wi-Fi module with RF antennas if I'm correct. But the real interesting stuff is here, housed in the front part of the CineEye. Let me pull out silicon power button with Wi-Fi logo on it. And now we can remove one of the two PCBs by unscrewing four screws. So let's go ahead. By the way, if you're looking to buy a Cinei Air or Original, head into the description where you can find product links. This top board is connected to the bottom one, so gently lift and it should pop out. Here you can see connector along with the bottom part of the board. Let's see the bottom board closely. This one has full size HDMI port on it. Not sure if I showed you, but the front of the Cinei is amazing, nicely made. Alright, this is top board. It has a power connector, USB Type-C and the power button. Also a small reset button, I guess. Now let me tell you that inside of the Cinei isn't much space left. Guys in Exxon did great job designing this wireless transmitter. Ok, let's make it work again. Make sure that you line up the connector. And just press until it clicks. Screw in four screws holding the top board on the place. Slide in silicon power button. And here is connector for that cable. Also, there are rubber o-rings on hinges for antennas. Grab a tweezers and connect cable. Now you can join two parts of the Cinei. Make sure the power button sits nicely and also o-rings are perfectly on the place.
quality control sticker is in the way. I will definitely not need that at all. Check another side and screw in four screws. As you've seen, this small device is great and it is built like a tank. Definitely worth the money. If you like this video, please subscribe and see you in the next one.